You're watching the SCAC Player of the Week interviews. It's week 11 of the SCAC basketball season. Today we're joined by the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, senior guard Andrew Romero the third of the Johnson & Wales University of Denver Wildcats. And Andrew, first of all, congratulations and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Andrew, this basketball team has now won three straight, is 16-6 and six overall, 9-4 and four in SEAC play, just a half game out of first place in the conference standings, coming off a huge league sweep this past weekend at home over TLU and Southwestern. Take me through those two wins. What give you and the rest of your teammates a lot of confidence coming out of a productive weekend like that? What, did you able, what were you able to do so, so well as a group out there this past weekend? Um, I would just say we just did a good job of executing and uh, following Coach's game plan that he gave us. It was a great game plan. Um, we had a lot of fan support out there this weekend, and uh, that really helped us give us some energy for the guys and stuff. And, you know, uh, we just went out there and said we just got to play our best and try to finish the conference uh, games out as best as we can. Uh, Coach was saying we just can't control uh, what everyone else does. The only thing we could control is uh, just doing what we have to do, and that's winning games. And we did a good job of defending and rebounding and um, just executing, and we came out with the wins. Coaches always talk about wanting to, to have their teams play their best basketball in, in February and into March. This team, as I mentioned, has won three in a row. Do you feel like this group is starting to play some of its best ball at the right time of the season? What is the sort of the temperature like in that locker room right now? Um, I think we are actually playing the best basketball of the year right now. I think everyone uh, – has that confidence right now that we can go out and be anyone that we want as long as we just do what we're supposed to do. Um, you know, us seniors, we got five seniors in the starting lineup and we just want to go out, you know, just playing 110 percent and just doing anything we can to get some wins. And uh, we got great support out there, like coach and the bench and our fans. So we just want to do it for each other. And this weekend was a very exciting weekend for us, getting closer to a, a conference title, hopefully. Andrew, individually, you continued to light it up this past weekend. In those two wins, you averaged 32.2 points per game on 62.5% shooting. Also chipped in with six rebounds, five assists, three steals per contest. You've now hit the 30-point plateau six times this season. How have you individually been able to be so successful out there on the floor for, for the Wildcats this year, Andrew? I'm just sticking what uh, I do best, just, um, just playing within the system. You know, my teammates did a great job of uh, – finding me for some shots and just sticking to the game plan, running plays, executing screens and stuff like that. You know, just playing defense on the other end and that controls our offense. So I'm really proud of our guys. You know, we defended and rebound really well and that led to great offense for us. And uh, luckily I was able to get some open shots and just help us get a win. As a team, Andrew, in conference play, this this is a group that's point or a, a plus three point eight five in the turnover margin, which is best in in the SCAC. How important has that you know ability protect the basketball as well as cause and create turnovers on defense really been the key to the success with this team, especially in conference play? Is that something that coach talks about a lot? Just protecting the basketball, creating new possessions, and causing turnovers on defense. Yeah, he does uh, tell us to always just protect the basketball and uh, just make the easy play. That's the main thing that we're just trying to do, uh, not make the home run play that coach says, and uh, just be solid on defense and just be solid on offense, and uh, we're, we can live with the result. And this weekend, I think we did, really did a good job of taking care of the basketball and just playing defense, not fouling too much, and uh, just trying to get easy shots for each other, and I think we all did a good job of that. Not only were you recognized at the conference level, level, Andrew, being named the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week for the second time this season, you are also named the USBWA National Player of the Week as well. What does that honor mean to you to, to be recognized individually at the national level, but also to have Jay Wu be nation, uh, recognized at the national level for all the hard work that you and your teammates have been putting in to get that recognition out there? How important is that for you? Um, it's really important for us. Uh, you know, that teammate or that award just isn't about me. It's just about all of us. I mean, that award really, really wouldn't mean anything if we didn't get any wins. And uh, this weekend, we just got two really good team wins. And um, it's really exciting uh, for Jay Wu because uh, not many people know about us. It's just good to have some people respect us and just put us on the map and um, just play good basketball out there so people can know. 
Looking ahead to this weekend, Andrew, to wrap things up with you, uh, last big road trip of the year in conference play, heading down to Austin College and Centenary. A big opportunity for this team to continue to press and move towards trying to accomplish uh, the SEAC title. What are your expectations heading into the weekend, and what will be key for this team to build on this three-game winning streak? Um, I just expect us to play really hard for each other. Uh, I know for us seniors, this is our last trip uh, of our career, so it's very bittersweet. So I know we're going to give it a... Uh, give it 110% out there, and um, just most importantly, just get two wins and play solid, play defense, um, just stick to the game plan, and uh, we can live with the result, and it'll be an exciting weekend. Now it's time for the fastest minute in all Division Three sports. That's right, it's the SCAC 60, a chance for you, SCAC Nation, to get to know your SCAC players of the week a bit better. Andrew, are you ready? Yes. With 60 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Andrew, what's your favorite color? Blue. What's your go-to karaoke song, Andrew? Um, First Day Out by T. Grizzly. If you could shop for free at any store without having any accumulation of a bill, what would that store be? Uh, House of Hoops. <laughs> would you rather have the power to be invisible or have the power to read minds? I would say read minds. Do you prefer spicy or mild foods? Spicy. Would you rather live permanently in a zoo or permanently in a theme park? Permanently in a theme park. Who's the best dancer on the team? Uh, John Trill. Would you rather go to an arts festival or a music festival? Music festival. Waffles or pancakes? Mm, waffles. Are you an ask for help or figure it out yourself kind of person? Uh, I'm going to ask for help, but it just depends on the situation. Usually I just try to just figure it out myself, but if I need to, ask for help. And that will wrap up the fastest minute in all of Division Three sports. That's right, the SCAC 60. Again, this week we are joined by the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, Andrew Romero III of the Johnson & Wales University of Denver Wildcats. Andrew, again, congratulations on your honor and best of luck as you continue to march forward throughout your senior year. Thank you. I appreciate it.